Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C and I have another video for you guys. Today I want to give you a quick update on Bitcoin. Take a look at some of these altcoins because the price action is quite interesting. So let's hop into this video. So guys, right now Bitcoin is trading at $44,194. The altcoins are coming down, but the big thing that is very interesting to me to point out, well, first off, stacks up about 10% of the day. That's pretty cool to see. Uh, we've, we've been talking about BRC20 coins on the channel for the past few months now. Uh, that's pretty cool to see that up, but uh, all in all, it's kind of an anomaly here. Uh, the most important thing I want to point out here is Bitcoin dominance trading at 52.4%. When you exclude stable coins, it is 54.4%. It is almost at 55% Bitcoin dominance. Guys, before we had this large run-up on Bitcoin... And before we were making this move, before this is when Bitcoin dominance started to come down as we were making our move up right here, uh, especially during the sideways price action, it was a much more of a, an elongated move to the upside instead of just para parabolic like that. Uh, but uh, before this move happened, Bitcoin dominance was climbing up. It's climbing up significantly. And I was talking about for, for quite some time that Bitcoin dominance level reaching 60% was not out of the question before the halving. I still think that there is a possibility that something like that plays out here. Especially with this Bitcoin spot ETF coming around the corner here. Three days, guys. Three days. Well, three days for it to either be approved, rejected, or postponed. Uh, I'm definitely starting to see a lot of grumblings about it being about it being rejected and postponed right now, but um, time will tell. There's there's some fears uh, in the market, which is kind of a good thing uh, because being on the same side as the mainstream media and the hedge funds that are pushing that the Bitcoin spy ETF is basically approved feels a little off. It feels a little bit too easy. And it's rare that uh, you will be that retail will be on the same side as the hedge funds. And if you're on the same side, well, then who's losing? Who is losing the money? W what is the opposing trade? Uh, so it feels a little strange. But um, the main takeaway I'm trying to get at here, guys, is that Bitcoin dominance level could very well move up to close to 60% as we get closer to this halving. We could see these altcoins continue to move to the downside and Bitcoin absorb this liquidity. If, if Bitcoin decides to have a breakout to the upside to, say, 50000 maybe even 55000 and a swift move after this Bitcoin spy ETF is either approved or rejected, maybe it will happen sooner than later if it is approved maybe we still, we will see a, a large tick to the upside in bitcoin dominance absorbing the majority of the liquidity before new liquidity can move into the market or if it is postponed then uh, i still am behind the idea that bitcoin dominance could absorb some liquidity as we get closer to this halving especially if we're making moves to the upside and swift moves to the downside as well usually with swift moves to the downside people like to take their profit that they made or uh, take their losses out of altcoins and be a little bit more conservative and put it into Bitcoin. Sometimes that's how it can play out when you see swift moves to the downside or to the upside. When upside is people FOMOing into Bitcoin, to the downside is people FOMOing, basically panic selling and FOMOing into Bitcoin as well. But uh, Bitcoin dominance, climbing up. This was a unexpected thing to happen right now, but uh, I'm starting to see my thesis play out that I was talking about probably back in back probably in winter of 23 like around February after we bottomed out I was talking about how I, I expected Bitcoin to kind of steal the show and um, it Bitcoin dominance is saying that that potentially could be the outcome here um, and maybe it is obviously going to be temporary because as Bitcoin dominance absorbs liquidity at some point you guys know the drill. Bitcoin will trade sideways at a new after a new leg up, and that's when the liquidity will flow out of Bitcoin, and some of these altcoins will really, really, really move. Uh, that's when you see 
Solana go from eight dollars to one hundred twenty dollars, or you see um, Crowcoin, for example, go from four cents to twelve cents. You'll see moves like that play out after Bitcoin decides to trade sideways after it reaches a new leg to the upside. But guys, I just wanted to give you my two cents on where I think we're headed here. If you ask me, is the Bitcoin spot ETF going to be approved, rejected, or postponed by the 10th? I am leaning towards the idea that it's probably going to be pushed back. It seems a little bit too early for that to be approved. I could be wrong, but uh, based on the hedge funds and the mainstream media pushing it so hard, I would not be surprised if there is a little bit of a quote-unquote black swan event where people that don't see it coming at all, everyone thinks it's going to be approved, and uh, then just wham. It uh, doesn't get approved and people panic because then this trade is done right here. But, But that being said... The next trade is the halving, which is only a few months away, guys. And the halving will create a supply shock, and big moves will happen. But guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel right now. Also, go follow me on Twitter at 333 Sea. I'm very active over there. Love talking to you guys. Love giving back, doing giveaways. I give away some crow. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But uh, also, please check out some awesome referral links we have down below this video. We have a $4,100 sign-up bonus to Femex, $8,000 sign-up bonus to BitGet, lots of free money to take advantage of. But that's all I got, guys. Be patient. Don't get shaken out. It might be a little bit of a rocky road here in the not-so-distant future. Um, be patient. But that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.